andropause, not really menopause, mm. is uh, just a decline in the in male hormones similar to females and it leads to a lot of the issues that uh, men struggle with as they age including mm -hmm. hair loss um, again uh, abdominal obesity mm -hmm. um, uh, erectile dysfunction loss of interest in sex wow, sounds like a picnic <laughs> so when when do men start experiencing these symptoms uh, it varies for everyone. So, you know, again, we have people in our 20, in their 20s and 30s who have something called primary hypogonadism and they're, they're, they have a loss of their hormones at an early level, or early mm. stage in their lives. But I would say in, in general, there's a decline with age where um, people um, most more often than not start to experience things in their late 40s, 50s. So how do you treat it? Um, so... You know this andropause thing. Uh, it really that really has to deal with. It deals with um, again the the slow decline in hormones. Mm -hmm. So there's um, there's this um, uh, I would say a, a significant movement in the, mm -hmm. in the, um, which is which is a little bit tangential to the mainstream medical care, and that has to do with hormone replacement therapy. Mm -hmm. um, I think that uh, there's not a, a significant amount of data that shows that. That hormone replacement leads to, for example, um, higher quality of life. Those studies just have not been done. Mm -hmm. um, but subjectively, um, patients feel it. There's a, a famous study that's often quoted where people took growth hormone for just 20 days and they gained about 5% of muscle mass. Are there any downsides to that? There's certainly downsides. Um, you know, um, there's, there's things like um, uh, growth of mammary tissue, which can occur. Um, Moves. Yes, essentially. Mm. Yeah. Them. Seen them. <laughs> Shrinkage yes. of testicles. Um, because these are hormones, when yep. you start taking them, they actually reset your whole equilibrium in your body of hormones because mm. hormones have a very large feedback loop in your body. So they control the pituitary and the hypothalamus are what control most of the hormones in your mm -hmm. body. And when you add a lot of one, it kind of um, feeds back on the system and, right. and decreases a lot of the others. And so one example is the thyroid, for example. Yeah. People who take growth hormone will have a low thyroid or hypothyroidism because of the feedback mechanism. There's always pluses and minuses. Yeah. And, it, and I think a lot of that has to do with, um, you know, how you treat patients, the dosing, the regimen, as well as um, monitoring all of these things. All of them are reversible, which is a good thing. And you can just take away the hormone and then things go back to normal. Mm -hmm.